This video is a short demo of the Fulcro native template I've recently released. Uh, this video may be out of date uh, with respect to the template, but it will give you the general idea of how it works. So the template itself is a combination of a web app uh, with a backend, so full stack, and a native app that uh, has the same basic features. It's not much in the way of features, but you know, essentially log in and a couple of tabs. So I wanted to show very quickly uh, kind of the layout of the project. Uh, there's a top-level package JSON, and then there's a subdirectory called mobile that has a separate package JSON. This is the directory that Expo is going to work in. We're actually going to emit our JavaScript to this app subdirectory in mobile, um, and then we're going to let Expo build that, put it on simulators, etc. Uh, so this folder is, is really about about getting that going. Uh, so let's put ourselves on the second terminal there. So notice I'm in that mobile folder here and I'm just going to say yarn to install all the yarn dependencies which I've already done just to save a little time. Uh, and then uh, you know if you look at the package JSON you see there's a bunch of expo stuff in here. It's, it's essentially set up and there's an app.json that lays out how the project works, what SDK version it's using, uh, splash image, etc. So I can see Expo start here, and that'll pop open a browser window with uh, stuff ready to go, but I don't have the, the app actually building it. Okay, so that's what this mobile directory is about. At the top level, I've got a package JSON that has my normal web dev stuff. In fact, this uh, most of this web app came from the Fulcro template itself, uh, and so you may have already seen it running. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll have created a closure REPL here that just looks like this. I'm going to run that closure REPL and while that's starting I'll continue talking here. Okay so I've got a shadow CLJS build and you can look at this in the source code. I'm uh, going to link you to that. Uh, the source of this has both a web target for the browser which looks exactly like it does on the regular Fulcro template and a native build which uses a React native target, this is for Shadow CLJS. Uh, it points into an init function, it's got a closure defined for setting the server URL so you can set it to something during development and have it default to something else during production. It's in dev. It's got some release compiler options that uh, uh, I'm not sure if I need them all, I just put them there as, as trying to make things a little easier for myself potentially later. Uh, and then I'm setting this JS option to set the node modules directory to that, no, nope, that's the wrong directory, to the mobile node modules uh, directory uh, so that uh, Shadow knows where it's looking for node modules. And then in DevTools, I've got a separate load for afterload to cause UI refresh and then a couple of preloads. One of the preloads here is for the new Fulcro Inspect with WebSockets so that I can actually use Fulcro WebSockets or Fulcro Inspect against uh, a running uh, app in a, in a simulator uh, on my machine here. So my REPL started here. I'm going to hit a keyboard shortcut that tells it to start the actual server. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start Shadow CLJS so that it can build things. Then I'm going to continue talking about what we've got here. So I've got two entry points for the client. This is the web client and it's init goes through and and uh, SPA here in this case is just a standalone atom. I'm going to use the same atom for both apps uh, so that code that needs to talk about an app globally just knows that's where it is. Uh, and I'm going to initialize the app here. I'm going to create it basically in this init. Uh, I'm going to remount it for hot load, hot reload up here. And I'm doing various initialization functions. I'm starting the session machine that, that does the login stuff. I'm telling it which actors. In this case, login is a DOM-based UI component uh, for the login form and current session uh, is actually going to be a shared component that has no UI. So this component can actually be used both in the native and the, the web-based UI. Notice my session namespace here, model session namespace, is where my logic is for dealing with the app state um, and all of this is reusable by both uh, because it's essentially just the state machine for moving through login, um, clearing the forms, etc. And all that's state based in Fulcro, so uh, there's no reason that can't work on both. So that's my web client entry point. And then my native entry point looks very similar, except here I'm using 
uh, uh, from the new Fulcro Native Library, uh, a Fulcro app constructor that just modifies the rendering pipeline so that it works right with Native. And here I'm doing the same thing. I'm starting my session machine. And in this case, my login form is a native mobile UI native login form using, in this case, native base components. Um, but it has the same query, route segment, initial state, those kinds of things as, as the one for the web. So I could take this a bit further and actually factor the UI out into separate pieces and, and reuse the DevSC at the, at the top level as well. So just depending on how you want to organize your source code, that's how this template might evolve. I think it's kind of interesting to have have as much shared code as possible to see how, how well you can make that work. Okay, my server's running now. My uh, Shadow CLJS server should be running on 96.30 now. I can start my two builds. All right, and so now I can go to localhost 3000 and open up my dev tools to make sure I've got things. And I can see it shows me login. I can say user let me in, which is a predefined account on this thing. And now I've got a settings tab, and I can log out, log in, and that's that's basically what what the little template supports. All right, now over here on the mobile side, I can say run an iOS simulator. It'll bring up the sim. A second, uh, the bundler will bundle the code. And now I've got my app running. User, let me in. Bam. Okay, now some more interesting stuff. If we bring up the new Fulcro Inspect Electron, uh, it should auto detect the app, show me the state. Uh, I can see that the uh, state machine for the root router is routed to the main screen. And the session says it's logged in. If I click on log out over here, session state goes to logged out. I'm actually talking to the mobile app with Fulcro Inspect. Um, if I go and look at uh, the login component, as I type my username here, not Tony, user and let me in. Uh, the, the password's actually stored in a component local thing for security so someone inspecting couldn't see your password, that sort of thing. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Now for hot code reload, if you hit command D on the emulator, you want to disable live reload and disable hot reloading. This is a feature of Expo, and we don't want Expo doing this. Shadow CLJS actually is the thing we want pushing our code. Uh, so you disable both of those. Uh, and then it just works. So I can go over here, uh, sorry, go over here to my UI code for, uh, you can bring up both of them here. So this is obviously the div, this is web app, right? So I can go to the web app and say, all right, well, uh, and my tabs up here at the top, uh, I don't want to call that main, uh, I want to call that home in the links. And you should see the hot code reload, and there's home. And oh, well, I want to do that for my native root as well. I want that heading to be main. I want it to be home and home stuff. So as you can see, this, uh, this makes things pretty nice. Over here, I can go to my Fulcrum Inspect, and I can see the same sort of app kinds of state that I saw in the, in the mobile side. See, you know, the login component with the account name, etc. Login user, let me in. So this is essentially it's sharing the same web server. It's sharing pretty much everything except for um, uh, the UI. All the other code is shared code. So this is give you an idea, you can come and play with the source code um, and uh, you know, give feedback, let me know what you think. Oh, I did uh, this little native base thing here is actually some wrappers um, for native base components um, and 
I supplied the, in this React Fulcro native library. Uh, there's an alpha namespace with a factory maker and a wrapper for text inputs. So the text inputs will work correctly. So just a few more notes.